road is banked, the centripetal force is provided by the horizontal component of the normal reaction force N. In this situation, I'm assuming that there is no friction at all now between the road surface and the car. Looking at the free body diagram, therefore, the normal reaction force N of the road on the car acquires a horizontal component N sine theta as a result of the banking. So resolving the forces vertically and radially, first of all vertically, in other words in the z direction, the equation of motion is that n cos theta minus mg is equal to zero because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction and therefore n cos theta is just equal to mg. In other words, the vertical component of the normal reaction force balances the weight. In the horizontal or radial direction, the resultant force is equal to n sine theta, and this must be equal to the centripetal force. So the equation of motion is n sine theta is equal to m times the radial acceleration. If we then substitute for the radial acceleration in terms of v squared over r, the speed of the car divided the speed of the car square divided by the radius of the bend, we get n sine theta is equal to m v squared over r. If we now divide equation two by equation one, we get that tan theta is equal to v squared over r g. Therefore, the 